found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. This one's wife. Kate looks great. You can shut up now. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The Princess of Wales underwent abdominal surgery back in January. The palace machinery explained that this was the case, not that anybody need naturally know what was going on, but given the fact that she wouldn't be seen for a number of weeks, it was deemed appropriate to explain why that was, and that she was undertaking significant surgery and convalescing thereafter. That's all that the people needed to be told. As we have seen, a combination of the press stirring things up and the rabid behaviour of certain dumb fucks on social media has resulted in very much making a mountain out of a molehill, causing people to believe that Kate has either been assaulted by Prince William, that she has undergone a Brazilian bum lift, that she's somehow under the patio at Kensington Palace, that there is a clone, a body double, that she has been recreated with artificial intelligence, all of which is the gossip that comes with the idleness of dimwits. In order to seek to counter all of that stupid speculation, we saw a picture of Kate in a car with her mother. Then there was the ill-fated photograph of her and her children, which was released, which was then seen, of course, to be subject to editing, which then brought on a furore of speculation and comment. Thereafter, there came the scrutiny, of course, of this one's wife's own photographs, who are far more guilty of repeated instances of issuing touched-up and altered photographs compared to that of the Princess of Wales. There was a further photograph showing the Princess of Wales in a car with Prince William, although that prompted people to suggest it was just a body double because it wasn't the clearest of pictures. They then followed the report that William and Catherine went out and did a bit of shopping near Windsor, and that they were seen by eyewitnesses, although at the time there were no press pictures, of course, which resulted in the idiots saying it wasn't her, it wasn't him, because there weren't any pictures. Well, a member of the public actually filmed them. Yes, oddly enough, someone was there as they were out shopping and managed to get some footage of them, which has turned up in the Super Sore Away Sun. So let's have a little look at this video footage to see who's in it. Here it comes. Now, in certain publications, a still from that video has been released showing Catherine and the Prince of Wales walking along. And predictably, it has resulted in certain individuals saying, that's not her. That it is a body double. That it is somebody else that has been put in her place. That, in fact, it's been created by artificial intelligence. Hmm... Now, it's understandable to some extent that when you look at a photograph, you might think, hmm, it's a little bit difficult to tell. Is that actually her? 
bear in mind this. I suspect that there are photographs of your good selves that people have looked at and said, it doesn't look like you. I know it's you, but it doesn't look like you. And you know it's of you because you know that you were there when it was taken. Indeed, you might be looking at a photograph that had been taken merely seconds ago. And the reason why it might not look like you is that when people are ordinarily dealing with you, they're dealing with you when you're fluid, i.e. you're talking, you're moving your mouth, your facial expression is changing, your body language is altering, because you're not a statue set in stone. When a photograph is taken of somebody, you are getting a snapshot of them frozen in a particular moment. And often, particularly where it isn't a posed photograph, the photograph may choose a particular moment as a snapshot where the individual looks somewhat different to the way that they ordinarily do because it is a frozen representation of that person rather than the fluid one that you're used to. With a posed photograph, that is more likely to look like the individual because you will have seen other instances of posed photographs of that person. So, for instance, with the Princess of Wales, many people have not met her, but those that know of her will have seen her repeatedly in a posed picture where she's looking towards the camera and smiling. So, when you see another picture of her, it's representative of earlier ones that you've seen of her, thus there is a familiarity. Furthermore, most of the photographs that people have seen, if not all, will have been when Kate has not been off the back end of some kind of operation and when she's wearing makeup. In this picture, it's quite evident that she is not wearing makeup, thus, that will cause her to look different. Believe me, the number of celebrities who you only ever see wearing makeup and when you see them without it, you would often think, is that them? So it. It follows that with Catherine, you are going to see this picture, this still of her from a video, and you might actually think, doesn't really look like her. Yes, one, because it's a frozen instance, two, she's not wearing makeup, and three, she's clearly lost further weight as a consequence of being unwell. Thus, there are rational, evidence-based explanations as to why it might not look like her, in that particular snapshot that's taken from the video. But I'm sure that you will recognise that when you actually watch the video, i.e. you see the fluid representation of Catherine, you can tell that it's her. A still that's taken from it, one can understand why people might, leaving aside their biases and prejudices as being sugars, etc. But even people who ordinarily would be supporters of Catherine might look at it and say, do you know something? That doesn't quite look like her. She does look different. And as I've explained, that's because one, she's lost weight, two, she's not wearing makeup, and three, it's an unposed frozen representation of her. But all you need to do is watch the video. And from that, you can see that it is her. Notwithstanding this, that the fact that she demonstrates that she's alive and well, that she's not under the patio at Kensington Palace, that she hasn't been abducted by aliens, that she hasn't somehow been locked away by Prince William, or that she's still in hospital in a coma, the fact is this does demonstrate that she is looking well, all things considered, and that she's out and about. There will, of course be still some numbskulls that will say, irrespective of what I've explained there, that it's not her, that she looks different. She does look different, but that's easily explained. But you can tell that it's her when you watch the video. Furthermore, there are some people saying, ooh, she's carrying a bag when she has just had major surgery. Well, that surgery was two months ago. She has been recuperating. She's still comparatively young, and she looked after herself. Therefore, she would bounce back from surgery reasonably well. Moreover, it doesn't look to me like she's carrying some dumbbells, but probably a loaf of bread or something. She can carry things, you know. There will still be the clowns that won't shut up, that they'll continue to say, this is AI-generated. You can see it's not. They'll suggest that it's a body double. You can tell from the video that it's not. But this one's wife, of course, will not be pleased by this video footage. 
She will not be pleased that there is more attention going towards Catherine. She will not be pleased by the fact that Catherine is being seen out and about. And once again, there's complete silence from her with regard to showing support towards her sister-in-law, and she would much rather support the speculation that all is not well within the Waleses. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>